It's the C923 controversial bottle. What's going to happen? Oh, no. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, just wanted to do a quick little intro here. I shot this before Cam from Drums and Drams blew off the cover of this uh, micro batch. Um, days of bottling, whatever, laser code controversy. Ah, my nose itched. Uh, came up on this um, C923 bottle. So enjoy my pure, unadulterated, had no prior knowledge of any of this shenanigans in the industry. Uh, review side by side with a store pick, and you'll kind of figure out where the laser code plays in, and then we'll we'll chat afterwards, and I'll let you know what I'm thinking about everything. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. See you on the uh, flippity flip. Welcome to Drams for Dummies. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to something I said I wouldn't do, and then fairly quickly said I might do. Um, but uh, I said that this is just going to be blinds with my friends, blinds with other folks, and I probably wouldn't do bottle reviews and all that sort of thing. But then it's, I mentioned in one of the first videos that when you have relationships with your local stores, um, you know, sometimes you get the hookup and that I've been kind of looking for the, the um, uh, C923 of Elijah Craig which, of course, a lot of people are, a lot of people are talking about, and there's a lot of reviews and videos out there. But I also happen to have, from my favorite store, Bubbles, one of their single barrel, private barrel selections. It's a 10-year. It is a 123.1 proof. It's sitting on my top shelf right now. This, in theory, should go to the top shelf. This is a great opportunity to try two things together. This is what I would be doing on my own. This is where the videos come in. It's what I do on my own, but now I'm letting you into the kitchen to do it with me uh, to see what a dummy like me thinks about these two things. So again, the good thing about doing blinds is that um, I don't know, you know, I can't favor one over the other. And really, I don't have a favorite here. I'm kind of rooting for the bubbles pick because that would just kind of keep the idea going that sometimes the things that we hunt and we overpay for um, don't live up to the hype once we actually get them into our homes or get a hold of them. Speaking of which, a little bit of a tease. We're going to have a little fun here. Dun da da da! Gung 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 gung. This is, you know, careful how I do that. That was, that wasn't a good look. Anyway, this is my unicorn bottle. I've got a lot of good bottles. I've been lucky enough to find bottles. I don't hunt, but lucky enough to end up with bottles in my possession. And this is one that I've never tried. This is one I've wanted to try for a long time. And I just realized I forgot to put music on. Holy crap. What am I doing? Oh man, should I put music on? This would be an edit. Also the video sort of lags, so when I do this, my fingers are a little behind. Anyway, well we'll see what gets edited here. I need to put music on, I'll be back. That's better, music! I've got music now, and i got you, so we've got the whole package. Where was I? Unicorn bottle. By the way, Nathaniel Rateliff on the on the stereo right now. Nathaniel Rateliff Radio on Spotify. Great music, great style, great artist. Love you, Nathaniel. If you want to come to the kitchen and have some bourbon with me, just give me a give me a shout. I'll at you in this video. So, um, yeah, I've been wanting this bottle forever, and as you know, you don't see them on shelves very often unless you get it in a raffle or whatever. And um, if you're going on secondary, you're paying four, four fifty, five hundred. But they keep just like everybody else. The prices keep going up, and this thing is now retailing for two hundred, which is it makes sense. And then the retailers are putting now they're figuring out, hey, the distillers want their markup. 
they want a, 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 a you know a piece of that secondary pie, and then the retailers are like, well, why don't I just take my twenty or thirty percent there extra too? And they, pretty much we're getting up to secondary prices off the shelf, which is that'll probably kill that game a little bit, which is fine. And then maybe we'll start to see some things on the shelf again. So. Long story short, this is awesome. This is going to be another video that I'm going to shoot here in a second. But what I need to do is, there's 25 year old bourbon in this guy. So I want to, on this video, do the cork pop with you. Ceremonial, because this is a big deal. And I paid a lot of money for this. And I'm not really happy with the amount of money I paid for this. I, um, again, you'll learn from me, my opinion is nothing's worth this much money. Um, these are usually worth what you pay for them, right? This guy, I'm very skeptical that this is going to be one of the best things I've ever had. And if it's not one of the best things I've ever had, then this might be the nail in the coffin of try to get the unicorn, overpay for stuff, whatever. But I'm excited, and I'm going to share the review, my first thoughts with you. I'm going to crack this open here. I'm going to get some in the glass and let it uh, start to air out. Because, again, there's 25-year-old bourbon in here, and the rule is a minute for every, every uh, year. Plus, the neck pour is going to be a little bit stuffy, so I want that to have as much time as possible. So, here we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh... Matt Porter, I can't take his, his, I cannot take his line, so I'll just give Matt Porter a shout out every time I pop a cork, <laughs> I may stop that, that may get obnoxious, but, boop, 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 boop. so I am excited, so there it is, that's going to sit off here to the side while we do this Elijah Craig jam. But then I'm going to record that one. So these will come out very soon. Okay. So I've already you already know what I have here. C923 uh, barrel pick for bubbles, single barrel, head-to-head, -head, mono a mono. Again, you probably know the stats, but the C923 is a 13-year, is a 7-month, almost 14-year uh, at 133 proof. I love that. So we'll see how this plays. I have had one pull off of this already. I thought it was really good, but I don't know. I don't know if it was top shelf good. So now we're going to have the second pour and we're going to compete. So I know what this is my A glass on my left. That's always, I always go left to right. This is my B glass. So I don't want to know what they are. So we got to mix them and twirl them and put that one over there and put that one over there and bring that back over here. Then zigzag this way. And I, I have no idea. I would have no idea what's going on at this point especially since I'm talking to you, but, and I don't want to know. The, what's the fun of, like, knowing? So let's give them equal swirls here for a second, get them some love. I've got my trusty book right here, so we're going to figure out what's happening. So, oh, had to close the window. Pro tip when you're getting ready to start your channel, don't start it in fall when it's leaf burning season. Because then your windows are open and here comes the smoke. And then I started sneezing my head off, so allergies. And I thought, I'm going to go get the saline rinse. And choo, 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 choo. But that's a pro tip from me to you. Saline rinse fries your nasal cavity, whatever. Like all those receptors that are sensitive and have different things on them. It's like it washes it all out and then everything just smells different and harsh and weird. So we're going to go glass one here and see what's going on. Mmm, great song. Mmm. Camp. Uh, that's a heartbreaking story. Gosh dang it, Camp. I've liked Camp for years. Camp was coming to town. I had tickets for the show for months. The week of the show, they canceled the show and canceled the rest of their tour with like four dates remaining. And I, you know, everyone's got, you know, I want everyone to take care of their health and their mental health. So, God, you know, I hope he's doing well and I hope everyone's doing well. But... That's been happening a lot recently with, with a lot of these great bands. Seems like there's a lot of fatigue and a lot of cutting them short. And I would rather they just don't go on tour and make sure they're healthy when they do and then fulfill the rest of the tour. But that's just me because I'm selfish and I didn't get to see this show. And I, that would have been such a good show and it was going to be in a great venue. Uh, you can never swirl and twirl long enough, so I'm just going to ramble while I do this. So 
let's see what the first nose of the day is at 12.55 on a Saturday. Super bright. Um, seemingly kind of one note so far, but it's kind of a little cool in the glass. I can feel it. Yeah, fruits, bright, oak. But it feels, it's coming in like cool and crisp and refreshing and kind of um, simple in the nose, which is not my favorite, especially for high proof boogers. And you know, a 10 year and a 14 year essentially. But again, this is what you know when you drink, if you drink a lot of bourbons, the more complex, the more age, the more layers, a lot of times the more proof, they change almost every every sniff. And and when I take a sip of this, that's gonna open up some things too. Um, and so a good bourbon should, should, if it smells the exact same every time, that's nice for a, for a crushable. But if you wanna have an experience, you, you kinda want that nose to evolve even through your, through your sipping. I mean, it's opening up. There's there's some cinnamon in that. A little chocolate, a little nutty. Yeah, it, it, very kind of grapey, very kind of fruity. Interesting. Not a ton of baking spice or any of that. Not a ton of that rich, you know, leathers and coffees and yeah, it's all kind of very bright, very almost citrusy. It's interesting. Let's see what it, let's just see what the taste does for it. <laughs> Full disclosure, I have a bit of a, uh, a canker, a couple canker, canker sores. Uh, it's not the herps. That's not, that's not, I get it from taking uh, too much Advil and I was sick recently. So when you get, when I take too much ibuprofen, I get a couple of canker sores and that, this lit them up. And so I didn't get a lot of that first one, but let me see what it did to the nose. It's, it's smoothing it out a little bit, rounding it out. Still not, it's just... Heaven Hill's starting to get, for me, a little funk in there. Kind of a little sour note. And I'm pulling that. There's marshmallows, there's that sweet... It's getting a little molasses, but gosh, it's just not going dark. It's just kind of staying light and bright. So like on a first pass, and I'd see, and here's the problem. I know what's here. So when I have people over, like it's like they're bringing me something I don't know. And so I'm just genuinely giving what I think. It's hard not to be biased here. I always give eights. Eights, so it's, it's like, it's good and it's easy. I feel like I want to go. I feel like I want to go seven. I gotta. If I'm gonna have this channel, I gotta get a little bit harsher on my, on my stuff. And I'm gonna come back to that. I'm not gonna even do the mouth and the, the finish. I want to kind of see what this one's doing for me. Already at first blush, a nose I like more. Richer, deeper, smoother. It's not biting and kind of kind of kicking in the face. This feels more mature, which makes you think it's this one. But who knows? Think about single barrels are fun because that barrel. Where was that barrel living in the Rick House? This where were, where do they pull these barrels? So you're pulling these from bottom floor or whatever. You're pulling these from top. This barrel comes from a top floor. This one's maybe cat. I kind of feel like the top floors, because I know I'm saying this because of Coy Hill. <laughs> uh, the Coy Hill is my favorite all time. And it's a top floor, top of the hill, top of the top of the top of the booger. So I feel like that heat up there, there's something up, there's something magic about the altitude and the heat. Yeah, great. I'm getting grape today. This is I'm pulling a little there, I'm pulling the grape here. But I'm getting a little more of that caramels and kind of richness, depth. Uh, like a good deep oak versus a bright kind of woodsy thing. It didn't light up my mouth. It filled it with good rich flavor. I had a pretty interesting finish. I'm going to kind of come back to those. Yeah, okay.
I'll give that an eight on the nose. All right, let's come back. The War and Tree. Mmm, that's soulful jam. I want to be where that guy is right now on the on the cover. He's just kind of playing the piano with one arm, looking snazzy, with a beautiful woman sitting on the piano next to him. Like, that looks like a nice thing to be doing on a Saturday. I don't know, maybe a little overdressed. Maybe that, that coat could almost be like a smoking jacket. Now we're having something, because we could all be into a different position very quickly. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again. The fun of putting things next to each other and then going back and forth. What the hell happened to this nose? This nose just blew up. Oh my gosh. Ah, I wish I was smart. Like, the the dummies part is here for a reason. Like, I don't know why that happens. It's science. It's the, the, the flavors in this and the profile in this does something to this and vice versa. But that just blew this nose up. This nose was kind of a little harsh, a little bright, a very fruity, very kind of, yeah, just kind of soury, kind of a little sour. But now it's really smoothed out, it's getting a little smoky, richer, de definitely some nice toffees in there. Oh my gosh, that's not a seven nose, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and the finish keeps running. Mm. I kind of just went 888 on that one, which it's the... pro tip number 74. Don't have a canker sore and do tastings. And if you have a canker sore and you're doing tastings, don't record it and make it an episode. Because what's happening when it hits that is kind of it's kind of that white that white um, uh, pain where you're just like. It's sort of short-circuiting my brain. So I'm not feeling super confident at these on these reviews, which is really unfortunate. So I could just stop doing it and then come back like in a few days when I feel better and do it, but <laughs> why? That's this, this is why it's Dreams for Dummies, because this is what we do, right? You're not in perfect situations all the time. You might have smoke and no music and canker sores and colds and allergies, and you might have had a good day or a bad day. It all very much affects each other. Okay, so this nose was my favorite to start with, and now I'm kind of not sure. I feel like it thinned out in comparison. It's nice. It's even. It's really nice. It's really nice. But it's kind of getting a little bit of a wet rag. It's not <laughs> good to note. It's just sort of kind of it's kind of falling flat now. I'm dropping this down. 7.5. It's nice in the in the mouth. It's a little one note. It's nutty. It's light. The finish is f nice. It's fine. It's not super complex. Doesn't run very far. Um. I kind of feel like it's a 7.5 and a 7 right now. Let me take a drink of water. Let me cleanse this out. Let's just do a fresh reboot. I'm looking at that Four Roses right now, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Are you going to be worth the money? Because what can be worth that money? It's when you have good things that cost 40 and 50 and 60, why would you be spending hundreds for something? So I'm, I'm skeptical. Let me go other direction. Let me reverse this. Let me back this thing up. It's good. 7.5. I like the palate quite a bit. I like the mouth feel a lot. I feel like that can go to an 8. From a 7.5. But I'm leaving the finish at 7. So what the heck is that? This is going to be like a 7.25 or... No, it's gonna be a 7.5. It's gonna be a 7.5 glass. Crap. Well, that's not good. All right, let me cleanse again. 
it's this is this glass has got more going on. It's more. It, it should be this bottle just for the age and the and the hype and the proof. This one is different every single time I come to it, which is fun. Like I like that. Like and so that means sometimes you get it, and you're like, nah, it's not my favorite. And next time you're like, ooh, I like it. And next time you're like, ooh, I love it. Like, but it's like that to me is interesting. Like. I like complex, interesting twists and turns. Like, if it's just one note, I'm like, that's fine, and there's a place for that, but it's not top shelf. You know, God, what I just pulled, what was that? Cherry just, like, flew out of nowhere? Like, what, what in the hell's happened with this thing? Here's another thing. When you get to that little amount at the bottom, it's not super accurate, and it can sometimes thin out and be pretty harsh. This is actually just kind of fun. Like, I'm bumping it up. I'm, I think I'm maybe just being biased because I want something to like get top shelf, but I'm going 8.5. That's fun and different and cool. I just like it. It's I, it's not always my favorite, but I love the the, the the ride we're on. All right, let's see what this little little bass bass whatever. The theme continues. I want a fairly empty stomach, so I'm already drunk. <laughs> The finish and the run on this one is crazy, and the, the the Kentucky hug is like it's like it's like which would be hot, right? Just she's pushing down, and, and she's anyway. That's inappropriate. That was highly inappropriate, and my wife will tell me to edit that out. And then I tell her I can't edit that out because that's my, that's me. So you got to like get the whole the whole shebang, you know, and the chest press with the choke out. Kind of trips and triggers. I talked before I scored. See, and then I got distracted. ADHD. Wow. I don't know. That's good. This one's really good. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like I can bump the finish to 8.5. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the palette at eight, which is strong. And I think I just because I know what's here, I just swayed something. I'm like, I gotta put something. One of these has got to be top shelf. So, but I did. This one really held up, and it kept holding up, and it kept staying complex, and it like, it just made, gave me a different experience every time, and that's a lot of fun. As long as the experience is never like really terrible. All right, let's see what I have here. That's a. Unbelievable. You can't see it, probably. I don't know. Can you see that? E okay, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna keep reviewing and talking. Even those last drops, like you just have like a drop in there, like that's not a way, you can't get a lot of that. That drop was really harsh and kind of gross. That drop was nice. Unbelievable. The C923 ended up with a 7.5 on the nose, an eight on the palate, and a seven on the finish. And people are saying this is the best thing they've ever had. <laughs> this is why this channel exists, because I'm an absolute idiot. And there are very smart, amazing people who I respect the hell out of that have said this is like the best thing they've had since something back three years ago at least, right? Or farther. That this might be a top ten of the year. This boy, ten year... 120, oh my god, in my readers, 3.1 single barrel bubbles, 8.5 on the nose, 8 on the mouth and palate, 8.5 on the finish, 8.25 bottle. This stays on the top shelf. This does not go to the top shelf. <sighs> Bourbon is so fun. This game is fun, isn't it? Like, because it's so specific and so individual, and that's why we exist for you, is because you might watch channels and go, I don't agree, I don't like, and it's so palette, it's so experience-based. Um, anyway, well, this was fun, and gosh darn it, 
secretly how I wanted it to happen, even though I didn't know what was happening. I really thought we were. This was good. I thought this one in the back and forth was kind of. I thought the one that was edging up was this one, and it was going to be like that makes sense. He's older. He's higher proof. This one's just a single. You know, whatever. And the fact that this one, the single barrel, and and I'm, I get, I like single barrels. Maybe that's a thing. You know, where you start to blend stuff, stuff starts to kind of wash out. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but all that to say. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Uh, in the comments, let me know. I'm an idiot because that's I should think that's the best thing, and if I don't think that's the best thing, then I'm, I'm an idiot. And I would go, you're right, I'm a dummy, which is why it's called Trans for Dummies, which is why a lot of you are watching and appreciating this, because we, we just don't, we all have different palettes, right? So let me know what you're thinking about everything. Uh, subscribe to the channel, so because that, that helps me go, okay, there's, there's a reason to keep making these things. Hit the notification bell so that when I pop one out, which I'm trying to hit at least once a week, that you'll know that that's out there uh, so you can follow along. And again, like I've said before, this channel is going to be about you, my viewers, my supporters, my patrons. Um, if Whatever comments you're giving me, whatever feedback I'm getting, I'm going to try to put, take that into account. Um, if you uh, see the link there to be a patron and you're so inclined that you want to just throw a couple of bucks at this endeavor because you're kind of getting what we're doing here and you appreciate someone's kind of a dummy like you I, I would love that and as a patron you're gonna have access into this channel you're gonna have influence on this channel you're gonna have a voice in this channel you might be sitting here next to me on this channel and I would just love and appreciate all of that and that support so if you think that what we're what I'm doing is is worth go, uh, continuing do all the things subscribe notify patron love you guys thank you hey thanks for watching that so what'd you think I'll tell you what I think. I think uh, Cam got lit up by some folks and uh, specifically, not specifically, I'm sure lots of people, um, but a lot of people also appreciated it. And I know that uh, Jason C on the mash and drum, I'm just gonna name drop all these guys. Um, you know, he specifically said, hey guys, this is a great bottle. If there's a little bit of variance, you know, suck it up buttercup, be happy we have good stuff at this price point. Uh, with this age statement, with this proof point, and Jason's absolutely right, um, <clears throat> but also Cam's absolutely right. When I got this bottle, I was so excited. I had heard all the hype, and uh, and then I drank it, and it was just fine. It was it's, it's good. It's solid. It's a good bottle. Um, you do get the age, and you do get the proof points, and you do get everything, but it's not a top. That bottle I have is not a top 10 whiskey of the year, and so when I'm drinking it, and I didn't know all this other stuff was going on, I am thinking something's wrong with me. Maybe I should stop drinking bourbon. All the smart people are saying that this is the best whiskey of the year, and I don't, I'm not tasting that at all. And that's kind of happened a couple other times on some other overhyped bottles. You know, Jack Daniels 12 for me. Um, again, really good. Not the end-all be-all. Not the best thing in the whole world. It had flaws to me. It was, again, good. It just got overhyped. And I think that's what happened with the C923. It got overhyped where, really, I don't know if any laser coat was going was gonna to match you know, the hype. But I will say, once you realize the A23s are the ones that are probably getting most of that hype and you have an A22, it starts to make a little bit more sense and I'm not getting there's no controversy I don't think there's a conspiracy I don't think people that have the A22s got screwed I don't think any of that I do think that probably they put the big mix into a huge you know uh, holding tank and it took them days or you know almost two weeks to get everything bottled and that that air and that circulation and that sort of marrying of the blend there's a difference, and I think that's just natural. It probably happens on everything, and like Jason C. said, you know, that that's just no one's ever been this critical because no one's ever gotten the hype. It's kind of like what's happening uh, with 13th Colony right now, right? Everyone's hyper-focused on every detail of their label and what they say and don't say, and there's tons of, um, you know, smaller distilleries out there doing – all the same things but no one's paying attention because they're not getting whiskey of the year type attention so it's a double-edged sword right you put out a product that gets a lot of love then you're going to get people want to figure out why it's not so great or where the holes in that game are so all of that to say it's completely legit in my opinion well 
actually, all of that to say, I haven't had A23 yet. So, if any of you want to send me a sample of A23, I really do. I want to do a side-by-side, -side, and that's been done. Uh, Bourbon Junkies did it. They pretty much said that the A23 it, by blind is better. Um, everyone seems to be coming up with that. Even Jason at Mash and Drum was like, yeah, it's different. So I do think there is a difference. I think that's been proven. Um, <clears throat> I do think the A23, depending on your palate, is the one that people are kind of loving. I would love to get an A23 and do my own blind um, because I just want to see what's happening here. And I want to see if when I taste the A23, I'm like, oh, okay, yes, this is awesome. Or if again, I just don't, you know, really like what other people like or whatever. I don't know. So, yeah. So, hopefully I'll get an A23 sometime and I can I can do the old side-by-side. -side. But at this moment, I would say I agree A22 is not the same as A23. And it seems like A22 is tighter and more restricted and um, not doing all the great things that people talk about with the A23. So, if you're going to buy a bottle and you see and you check the laser code, just know. Hey, if I get an A22, cool, I'm going to buy it because it's a great value, but I'm not going to expect the world's best whiskey. But if I get an A23, I might be getting a little bit better bottle, a little bit better flavor profile. Eh, I don't know. That's just coming from me, this dummy. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.